welcome to The Cozy Corner, a podcast about all things cozy. Join us as we dive into the world of film and TV, a little true crime and spooky time, food reviews, and talk to some special guests too. So get cozy, grab some snacks, and settle in, because we're about to begin. Hello and welcome to The Cozy Corner Podcast. Today we've got a very special guest, Alice. Hi. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm here in the cozy corner yes the cozy corner we've actually got a new little piece of decor that i recently got i like it's it. a new addition i like the layout yes. i think it's um really vibey in here it is but it's not great for summer even though this is a summer house yeah disclaimer it's actually not great for summer <laughs> we, we we have a fan on don't yeah. we if, if you, you hear noise hear in the background it's to enable us to keep surviving yeah <laughs> in this heat trap it's i don't, don't know what's going on but it is just far too hot in here yeah. We've got all the windows and doors open, so we may hear the sounds of nature. <laughs> so a of lawnmowers. Brook. Yes. <laughs> uh, some buzzy and, bees. Yeah, there might be. Who knows? We might get lawnmower. a guest star come on. Yeah. And maybe, like, might be a bumblebee, might be a fly. Yeah. Who knows? Do you get any hedgehogs? <laughs> I've got hedgehogs you know, in my garden. We you know? don't. Well, we used to. We haven't had any for a while. Yeah. We sometimes get foxes. Well, maybe a fox will nice. wander in. Yeah. Um. We've had an owl before. Oh, damn. We've had a pheasant. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, we're by the golf course. So, yeah, like, of course. just get everything off that. Um, by the, yeah, we get pheasant, foxes, all that. Um, you see the odd mouse as well, the odd field of mouse. Well, and, maybe yeah, a whole host yeah. of uh, zany characters will Who wander knows? through the doors. Lots of cats. We had one yesterday trying to come in. That sounds great. I, I would love it. I know you cat... you'd be happy with that. Me mum would... wouldn't be. Yeah, your mum. Me mum like would be not on Didn't the sofa. Did climbing through your window once or something? Yeah, it came into me mum's bedroom and was like, Meow. that was a good impression. It felt Thank like you. the cat was with us. <laughs> it was. Re- Can you like, do any other good animal sounds? It was like really questioning. It was like a question like, Meow. Can you Can like, I come in? Can you do any good animal sounds? I'm going to take you back to like reception level oh, uh, learning here. I think what cats noise are my only one. Does a cow make? <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like a cat again. I know. She's a cat doing an impression of a cow. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Yeah, and that's all I can do really. What yeah. about you? Um, I feel like the only reason you've asked me is because there must be a secret talent. No, there's really not. <laughs> I'm not one for secret talents. In a way, I think if um if. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I agree. I felt like that was leading up to something. No, I I was. What about like ready. um a seagull? You know, like. <laughs> so <laughs> they sound like is that a scouse seagull? <laughs> yeah. Oh, have you seen that scouse cat Phineas yes. on TikTok? Love it's him. like. Meow. I love like, Phineas. Yeah, Shout out to Phineas. Yeah. That is the cutest cat, and it is a it fully is. scouse cat, and they live in like Australia. That's as well. That's so weird. Have they ever yeah. been to Liverpool? No. Or just I just messaged them there. once and was like, "Can we talk?" Yeah. Which kind of segues nicely into how we know each other. Yes. So actually, we got distracted there for a minute. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, um, <laughs> that's just for what we do anyway. To be fair, um, how we know each other is we used to work together. We did. We both used to work for the Echo. Yeah. You still do, but I've moved on to the Central team. Yeah. So it's still now and again a little bit of Echo work. Mm-hmm. But don't get to do it as much. And I mainly focus on different titles throughout the UK. You like like it varies. Loads of stuff for like other papers though. Yeah, there's a lot. That's like the thing. It's like There's a lot of different A lot of different No day is the same. There's always something different. Yeah. So it is it's Yeah. It can be crazy sometimes. We both applied for the same job, didn't we? Well, you applied for the job that I got with the Echo and I applied for the one that you got. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. we applied at different times. I applied when there was just a news-based one. And I was like, it's not really what I want to do. I wanted more what's on. Yeah. To clarify, if you don't know, what's on is more content that is surrounding, like, what's happening in the city. And, like, like, going to places. Stuff like that. Yeah, events and stuff. So that you were fully, like, I want to do going out to places, you know, looking at, like, new restaurants and stuff. And then the other one was general news, news. just like, you know... Could be breaking, breaking could be just news, general. Mainly, yeah, or yeah. like, you know, if there was footage of something, yeah. you know, like CCTV... Because we're video journalists as well. Yeah. We're not written... Well, you tend to do that I more do, now. I do a few now, but yeah. But we, we were when we started, primarily... We were like... Yeah, video. Video! Video! Yeah. 
<laughs> that's like a only the real to, ones now. <laughs> I know. Only only the video team will yeah. get that. Rip. But yeah, um, <laughs> that's an inside joke. Um, but yeah, we used to work really closely together. We did. Um, we were such a duo. Like we used to do Facebook lives all the time. I think that's safe. We to say, were the yeah. dream team. Like yeah, and it wasn't even just us who would say that. Like honestly, the whole office. I reckon they were all just like fangirling around us. You know? Do you think? I think so. I think we were like the faces, the ant and deck. You know? Yeah. And I was obviously the shorter one. (laughs) Like, I was, I was deck. You were deck? Yeah. (laughs) Because, so short. No. Um, I get that. I think, yeah, I mean, we, Because, like, we'd come back from jobs and they'd all be like, oh, that was so great. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Like. No, yeah, I mean, we covered a lot of, a lot of things. I mean, we did Comic-Con together. We had a bit of a reunion. So many Comic-Cons. Last, it was in November when we dressed up as barbie and ken didn't we of course and it was great though because i think what was good about our job was that we kind of we knew like we we knew what we were doing like we knew that we had to get content but we also knew how to make it kind of fun you know what i mean so like we we knew sorry about that it cut off there for a minute but we're getting back into it now we're back so we're back yeah. So we were saying about like Comic Cons and yeah. stuff like that. Because it wasn't just I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong, like we had to do our fair share of like can I say can I swear? Yes, that's fine. We're not big enough to be monetized yet. <laughs> A fair share of batshit stuff oh, that yeah. we had to do. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I won't lie, like when I was doing the the mainly news role, a lot of the stuff we had to cover, I won't go into a lot of it because it's not very cozy. But, um, you know, some of the stuff that you had to yeah. do as a journalist, I'm sure, you know, it was kind of a lot and stuff. Yeah, it definitely can be. So it was nice be. teaming up to be like, I mean, we've done loads of stuff. We did like the Cat Cafe, didn't we? That was great. That was one of the best ones. Yeah, and we've done Comic-Con. That was nearer the time when we knew that um, I was going to be moving on to Central. Well, we both we moved were both on to Central, Central didn't we? and then... A job came up that we did both apply for. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that. <laughs> no, the best of person got it. No. no, to be fair, I don't think I would have been as suited as that because it's it's quite news based as well. Yeah. Whereas I'm not as as great as that. Mm-hmm. Like I'm no, much more suited true. to what's on and like to kind of cr- creating more long form and like mm-hmm. um, voiceover kind of videos and all mm. that. Whereas it can be a bit more like newsy. Yeah. And that's not entirely my vibe so yeah. to be fair i was like you know what that is more alice well, so i was happy with that and i do like the role that i'm in now yeah so oh, that's good it all worked out yeah but it was it was such a weird time because when we applied for that job we were delirious weren't we we were out of our <laughs> I minds mean, when are we because not? of what we were covering yeah like Around the time of the interviews, we it were was doing. The day off. We were doing Eurovision. We were, and you know how <laughs> I know it was the same day, right? I don't know if you have to cut this out, but basically, my interview was in the morning. Yeah. And like, I had to go into the office and do the mm. interview, and then I wasn't starting Eurovision coverage till three o'clock. So I went oh, in at eleven, yeah. and then I had to leave for like a few hours, yeah. and then come back. And the first it's... thing I did when I like started on that day was I went to John Lewis and I went to Sophie Ellis Baxter's kitchen disco in oh, the kitchen department that. of John yeah. Lewis came in murder oh. on the dance floor like surrounded by like pots and pans it was really bizarre but <laughs> if, and, and Saltburn hadn't come out yet no so obviously no. I mean the real no. ones <laughs> again no obviously yeah. that song's iconic but then Saltburn came out and it had the big yeah resurgence but it's always been iconic and she oh, absolutely was performing in John Lewis and it was just absolutely bizarre <laughs> coming in and just being like, oh my God, like what yeah. is happening? It was so weird. weird. It was great though. Shout out to Sophie Ellis Baxter, oh. as I'm sure she yeah. listens every week. Oh, I mean, she's one of the regular listeners. Literally. Like, def- that- friend of the podcast. Yeah. Great song. <laughs> <laughs> like, we talk, yeah. Sophie Ellis Baxter approved. Absolutely. Uh huh. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> well. <laughs> But yeah, it was really bizarre, wasn't it? Because um, what was great as well, I mean, it was literally this time last year. Yeah. The sun was out and... And it is now, like, the weather's it is. exactly mirrored what it was last no, it year. it really has. Like, and I felt so, you know, like, it, it felt like such a vibe. Because obviously we didn't know for a while if, if Eurovision was going to be coming to Liverpool. Yeah, there was that whole moment of where is it going to be hosted? Because we were hosting on behalf of Ukraine. Yes, which was a very so. big... 
thing yeah. because of the war, what was going on, and they weren't able to host because mm. of that. So then it had to fall to a different country to host. So we were hosting on behalf, and it got um, announced through, like, I think it was Graham Norton, wasn't it? Yeah. Did the whole thing, like, Liverpool, and, like, everyone was cheering. And instantly we were like, <sighs> damn. We were like, okay. <laughs> let's, it's getting serious now. Let's get to work. Literally. Let's go. Yeah. Now, at that point... I knew absolutely nothing okay. about Eurovision. Yeah. I remember watching it as a kid mm. once. I just remember Nilpois. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, 12 points to whatever, you know, yeah. like zero points to the UK. Yeah. You know what, though? May Muller's song last year I actually really liked. I liked She's the song, great. but mm, the rehearsals. Are you about to spill some tea? Uh, I'll get into that later. I've got Ooh. some notes to go off of. It's not very cosy anymore. Well, <laughs> we might be cosy, but we can also be gossips. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got some tea to spill about that. Oh. Yeah. What do you think of Ollie Alexander's song this I, year? I really like him. I think, I he, think he is great, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think that the song he submitted is my favourite of his songs. No. But still a strong he's just, contender. He's cool, yeah. isn't he? So cool. Yeah, and I, I do like how he's really very relaxed about yeah. it all. Like, he's been posting on socials, being like, you know, kind of implying that everyone's been saying, you're representing us, but he's kind of saying, well, I'm only human. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't put that much pressure on, on people. Yeah. And I like that he's drawing attention to that, because it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And I think that's what ultimately got to May, because in the rehearsals, yeah. I may as well just spill the tea now. She couldn't sing. She couldn't sing. I'm sorry. I was there in the rehearsals. The music wasn't playing. She was practicing. She was trying to get the pitch right. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. She, she can't. She can't the sing. The pressure there would be a lot, do you not think? Well, that's what I think ultimately. I reckon she can sing. But in that moment, it could have been the pressure, the stress, the anxiety. Yeah. I mean, no one is there really from like, you know, a. a audience perspective but it was a lot of press and a lot of the other competition yeah and everyone's watching and it's being recorded so that then you go back into the green room and watch it, watch it and back. see where can i critique where can i do better yeah so she's constantly critiquing herself a her team is yeah everyone is it'd be insane that's horrible yeah imagine having to like represent you your country and yeah. stuff and you know what i think she <laughs> she's really funny on twitter i don't know if you follow she's her on and twitter. she's a lovely person she's so funny yeah. And I think, but like this time round, I won't. I have not been watching this year's. I've only as seen much. glimpses, really. Yeah, but like last year, it was like obviously so like it was everywhere because obviously oh, yeah. you know we were representing it, and I know at the time it, it was like between a few different cities. I think Glasgow might have been one of them. Yeah, I think um, it was. Is that it Glasgow or like Edinburgh or something? It's a Scottish. Time. yeah yeah and and then we got it and it was like this makes perfect sense but now it was like oh god the pressure's on we're gonna have to like, like oh no it's actually gonna happen now yeah we need to like actually what do host. we do <laughs> well, there was so much going on though there was the euro village oh yeah that, that was that rammed. was insane that was amazing yeah i loved how they brought that yeah where they were able to actually make this really nice environment for people to yeah. come and express their love and, and the venga boys played. And, oh the venga boys <laughs> the venga boys i've got a story about them later okay i can't wait to get to that um but yeah that was amazing mainly just for like the vibes and to allow people yeah. to like have a party kind of vibe out yeah. in the open enjoy the sun and you don't have to go to where it was held in yeah. the MS bank arena also known as the echo arena it used to be called that everyone yeah. still calls it that really yeah that's one of those fair. scouse places that is echo called, arena like yeah what it's always been called now was that echo like as in echo yeah yeah because you sponsor it, don't you? Yeah. To get the name. Because there was the MEN Arena so. in 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 yeah. in Manchester as well. I uh, yeah. And then I it, just it wanted ran to confirm. Out. I yeah. thought it was, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Yeah, we, we like sponsored. I thought it. was it just about the acoustics? Does it echo in there? <laughs> <laughs> the reverb arena. Or was it because of the newspaper? Like it I, was I because of the newspaper. I assumed so, but no one had confirmed that before. So, thank you for the confirmation. <laughs> I love that I work for the company and didn't know that. Look, I'm glad that wasn't asked in the interview. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. I am um, just briefly speaking of music. Yeah. Your jingle. Yes, you are responsible for that. That 
jingle right <laughs> so it's it because i had I, love I had about four you came to me and you were like alice i'm gonna start a podcast i was like cool <laughs> and you were like it's gonna be called the cozy corner i was like cool and you're like can you record the intro and like yeah. make the intro and i was like oh my god yes i was like to. i don't know how any of that works but if you're able to then amazing well you must well you know how it works cause not it's really kind of the same as yeah, you but know, recording the podcast. I don't know how you do music stuff. <laughs> like mixing and stuff. To be fair, my dad helps as well. Yeah. He's a very, very talented, um, like, music technician. That's so cool. He's really cool. And the stuff that you do, where can people find that? Like, if have you I got it out there? You're not, not yet, not yet. You need to. I you know, need to get on Spotify. It's, it's just fine to the time. Look, I got on Spotify, I don't know how, but they approved me within less than 24 hours. Don't know whether it's that, you know... people need cozy, cozy <laughs> Whether that was a wise idea on their side, but, like, they let me Obviously. on. So, you can get on. If yeah. they let me on, you can get on. But do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember... If they let this happen, you, you can get on there. <laughs> well, a low bar... Well, you're higher than it. <laughs> so you, you're well you? getting there. Thank you for having me on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, but the, you remember the jingle for which you the, created? The, the yes. jingle was different, and then we I changed it, like kind of last yes. minute, yeah, and stuff. And then it was like that's it. And then that's yeah, the and, but because I obviously you'd I not it. recorded any episodes yet, so I was kind of no. going off. Yeah, we had nothing to go. You, you, I think you gave me a few like I just words. Gave, I gave you, you vibes. Like, yeah, you were like, "Here are these vibes. Here's Can you the make vibes. this into into a jingle?" What do you think? It's good though. I love though. I feel like because we've been such work besties. Yeah. It translated over to out of work as well. Yeah. And then we've just been able to like share a mind a lot of the time. Yeah. No, definitely. 100%. So I just knew if I give you some vibes about what we'll, this is about, we'll be. You'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, she'll know it. No, Sorry, she... I'm just like, our feet just touched. Her. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had to. Where's the door? Leave <laughs> no. no, no. But sorry, that was just an aside. Yeah. But I just think um, the fact you were like, <laughs> here are these vibes. I literally think yeah. it was almost like you'd done like a word map, kind of cozy <laughs> corner. corner. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's corners. And, and then and then it was like make a jingle. But no, I like. And I was it. like some true crime some story time some spooky time yeah and like movies <laughs> yeah i i do think though maybe we should make a version that is spookier oh you know when so like I a minor key on like a the, minor um, key true crime, on spooky the true time crime ones. one I love that or even idea. like even just like at the end just yes. like a ah! I can, can that laugh. be it can that be the sound bites <laughs> There you go. It sounds like one of the animals from before. Yeah, that's my seagull. That's my seagull. <laughs> okay. We literally got off topic about 50. This is a problem with having someone yeah. with ADHD on this podcast. Honestly, I'm beginning to think, though, that I've got ADHD because yeah. this is what most of the conversations with me go like, no matter who it's with. Because I end up, I say, I've got 50 tabs open yeah. in my brain, and I'm yeah. like, this tab, this tab, this tab. And they're all loading. Yeah. They're all, there's they're all music, blue screening. There's music coming from one of them, but I don't know what one. Oh. <laughs> that is it, though. That is literally what it's like. And a podcast from another. <laughs> yeah. Should be called, like, The Crazy Corner. Yeah. That I could, still that think could it should be, be called The addition. Bougie Corner. You've got gin over there. I do. I've got a nice little bar set up. Yeah, she does. Yeah. You can't see it, but there's gin. Trust us. It's, yeah. it's a good bar set up. Anyway, sorry, yeah. we went way, way off topic. Let's we did. let's let's reel it. I have to admit. Let's, let's, about, let's bring it back. Hang on, hang on, wait, wait, pause. <laughs> Getting back onto that bar over there for a minute. Okay. I have to admit, I'm so sorry, Ryan Reynolds. I've run out of aviation gin and I don't have any over there. I feel like I've betrayed him. What, by drinking it? No, by not constantly having a supply. Why but you know, where do I you am even loyal get it from? to them. Where'd you get it from? Loads of places. I don't <laughs> Costco think I've ever and seen like it. Oh, okay. Um, Asda. And... Asda. Yeah. Then again, I don't buy gin that much anymore. Uh, you should buy that one. I'm more of a, I think like, I've a convinced the point. majority of bars in Liverpool to buy it. You know. Really? Yeah. I got Abby to get it in where she works. Yeah. In the club there, and yeah, I've like convinced loads of places to get it because I was like, it's honestly such a good gin. Yeah. So I feel like I should be getting some commission. It feels like you're working for free. A little at bit. At this point, Ryan, step yeah. up. I know you're doing Deadpool 3, but like... They've got a new Deadpool gin out as well, you know. Well, this is the thing. 
you know? He's Deadpool gin. And I'm just sitting where, here. Where is it? Marvel fan, aviation gin fan. You could do a podcast episode you know. about Deadpool. Oh, we're planning to, actually. Oh, really? That's in the works. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah so, you know. Oh, well, we'll have to Contact for me. A, <laughs> for, a, for the yeah. usual... I can't actually tell what gin it is from over here. Um, It's Whitney Lee. Whitley. Whitney. can't say it. Is it Whitney or Whitley? One of them. Neil. I'm ruining the audio. Um, That's okay. It's ASMR at this point. It's not. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Um, Whitney Neal, rhubarb and ginger gin it was. Nice. And it's gorgeous, especially with ginger beer on a hot day. Ginger beer? Yeah. Nice. That does sound good, to be fair. It does. It's the weather. We for might it. have one after this episode. Oh, God. Because I do have ginger beer. Oh, my God. I well, know. yeah. It's fate. I think. <laughs> let's, 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 let's. Get back to your vision. Circle back. Let's. Your vision. Get back to the To your vision. Yes. So, if you remember across the city, there was like a bunch of different stuff happening. Did you go to the British music experience? Did you no. go in there? No. Right, because I'd never been in before, and they had like this Eurovision. Like thing I've on. been, but not yeah. for that. They had ABBA costumes. Oh, I remember hearing about that. They yes. had ABBA costumes in there. I wasn't sure why and though. I knew it was to do Eurovision, but I was like, why specifically, like in Liverpool, ABBA? Because do you know what I mean. And it was Eurovision, but it just didn't. I was like, because ABBA's okay. like the best thing to come out of Eurovision. Yeah. Well, do you not? Okay. Do you not agree? Yeah. No, d- yeah. I feel like you don't agree. <laughs> but I just felt like s- something to do with, like, Sonia probably would have been better. Eh. More relevant to the city. Do you know what I mean? Well, Sonia sh- was about. She was around. <laughs> she was about. She, she was. She yeah. came into the Echo office. Yeah, she was about. Yeah, she was around. But, you know, I mean, there was there was other artists yeah. as well. But but the ABBA stuff yeah. was, was... No, it was still, it was You brilliant. know, I think, you know, let's be really real for a second. <laughs> When you think of Eurovision, yeah, you acts, do think of ABBA. You think of ABBA, yeah. And let me think now. So, was it what fifty years of ABBA this year? I or, think it was fifty yeah, this year. Fifty years yeah. this year. What's your favorite ABBA song? Just go. Don't even think. What is it? Only because I used to do dance, and we did a dance to this, like in competitions did you used and all to do that. Dance? Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I'm sure you were. Honestly, that. like I used to get distinctions all the time oh in, it, in like Wait. competitions and all that. Yeah. But I didn't like the feeling of the costume when they changed it. It yeah. was like nylon. It was a whole thing trying to get into it when I was a kid. Yeah. My mum was like, we can't keep doing this, Emily. Yeah. Because I'd be refusing to wear it. So then I quit because it wouldn't change. They wouldn't let me wear anything else. I couldn't stand the texture. I know that sounds so daft. No, that's not daft. That's not daft. But it's the type of nylon where... If you rub it, it like you tight? get an electric shock. Oh, God, I hate that. And it just, it was so yeah tight, like skin tight. I can't be doing with that. And like, Textures is a very big thing as well yeah. if you're on uh, if you're autistic. Yeah. I, and I'm not just saying that. I'm, I have yeah. autism and texture. But you I know, couldn't sometimes, get past the texture. Do you know a specific one that I was actually talking about in, in, in work the other day, actually, uh, with one of our colleagues? When your shoe is too thin... Like the sole of your shoe, I know what you mean. when it's you've had, it, you've worn it. You know, it's been a beloved companion for many years. Well, I've both got of them, shoes like that. At the you moment. know, <laughs> and you're walking and you can feel the ground. De- yeah, like, there's there's no close. protection. There's no protection. It's really. Don't know why I did that. There's, there's no, no protection. protection. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Why? What is this? There's no protection. There's no protection. <laughs> um, oh god. If if you're if you're listening, she just made a very um, yeah a, a grabby gesture. Maybe don't go watch this. Like on a YouTube. Hong Kong kind of gesture. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm just delirious from the heat. Go on. <laughs> um, oh. But no, so we've had about fifteen segues. But all I was going to say was yeah texture. I agree with you on the dance mm-hmm. front. Mm-hmm. But then what were we just talking about? Oh, How favorite song. <laughs> From Abba. Sorry, oh my god, this is literally like, we need, uh, see, we were like, oh, we don't need we that much of a structure. We need, like, a director. We, don't need, we need, like, a, we need a director point, to like, keep us. PowerPoint to, like, well, I do keep have us bullet on points, time. But we're still on the face one. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. But, fa- favourite Abba song, Waterloo. Mama. Yeah. Because we do, like, this hip thrust well, thing. That's the one from Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah. Waterloo, I've got the dance moves in my head. Like we do this like hip thrust thing. Waterloo, 
How old were you? I don't know, like eight, something like that. I used to do dance yeah. as well. Oh really? Yeah. See, we're I remember the same dancing person. to a uh, to a uh, Candyman by by uh, what's her name, Christina? <laughs> oh God, Candyman. I don't remember what the dance was, but it was a bit iconic. I remember we all had to run on stage in like a line and be like, and do a bit of like this. Don't watch the video. So <laughs> oh my God. I once, I don't even know what the song was. I cannot remember it, but I remember the dance. Oh, it's Night Fever. Night Fever, yeah. Night Fever. We had to be like, Night Fever, Night Fever. Night fever. Should we just do a karaoke? Yeah. You know um, how to do it. And um, we have to wear a full like one piece gold jumpsuit and it it was like an Elvis suit but fully huh. gold and sparkly and honestly that does give your vision vibes <laughs> that does that does sorry I'm just moving the mic it was closer. similar to the jumpsuit that um Sam what's his name oh my god the guy who like almost won your vision um oh, I'm so bad at names and he performed are you thinking of the cha-cha guy? No. No. No, he was a representative for Britain. For oh, the UK. Oh, Sam. Um, 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 the spaceman guy. Yes. Yeah. What's his name? Sam. Sam. Ryder. Ryder. What, was yes. it? I'm so yes. sorry. I, know, I haven't I'm done awful. my, my uh, revision. I'm honestly. awful at names. I barely remember my own name. Yeah. But um, I remember we were watching him like perform in the rehearsals and he was going to be like the big surprise mm-hmm. he wore a gold sparkly jumpsuit mm-hmm. and it took me back I was like I've wore that Man, exact do jumpsuit night fever. Yeah. <laughs> night fever, do you want to know my favourite ABBA song Go even on. though it's really hard and like I feel like when you watch like Mamma Mia or like yeah. if you listen to ABBA every time a different song comes on you're like no this one's my favourite yeah I think mine is Lay All Your Love On Me it is a good one it's a lot uh, of passion but then it's in it. like Knowing Me Knowing You another classic I'm not as big of a fan as that one. Really? I, I don't mind it. Uh-huh. But I, prefer, <laughs> I do prefer. <laughs> like the, sorry, my laugh. <laughs> I have like different variations of laughs. And that one, that, that came from the that soul. That was like dusted off an oldie there. Yeah, that came from the soul. That, that did. Like, it, was, it was deep. It was a yeah. deep laugh. A deep, a yeah. deep laugh, yeah. yeah. But you know, any of them that comes on. And, and you know, They're Eurovision's great. Like, I think, you know, if you got up a playlist now of like best Eurovision songs... They'd all be bangers. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think last year there were so many good ones. Australia's <sighs> one I really liked. And that was his own car. It was, was brought on it? stage. That was, like, the, the visual flew that spectacle. from Australia. That's crazy. Yeah. The visual spectacle of, of last year, I think the stage looked amazing. You know what? I was just, because I, I was watching, like, to see who was performing and all that. Yeah, and I've got a list yeah. of a few that I really liked. But... I've been really disappointed in the staging this year. Yeah. It's lacking. It's boring. It is, isn't There's it? There's nothing really going on. There's only been a few where I'm like, that's good staging. Yeah. I mean, last year we had cha, 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 cha. That and was like, good. Is he in the room? Just by... Like... I know. Thank you. Great impression. <laughs> um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, he was like... The fan favourite, wasn't he? Yeah. Like, everyone loved him. Yeah. Even without staging, that would have been amazing. He should have won i think you know what i do think alessandra should have either been and she was norway she should have been either first or second i would have been happy for either finland to be first or norway yeah. because they were both phenomenal like the cha 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 guy i can't say his name i don't know how you pronounce it he, he has a strong look as well he is such an entertainer yeah it, he's just born with that like yeah. he's just got it Whereas Alessandra is like pure talent and pure just passion. There was like, it was really strong vocals as well. Like it yeah. wasn't just the look and the vibe. Because I do think a lot of it goes off the vibe. Because you're trying to get votes yeah. from people. You know, the song the look could is be important. good, but it could be boring. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I won't lie. I feel like, like some I of them have like been. Some of them have this been. This year. Boring, haven't they? Last year. It was incredible. And, yeah. and like I said before, I didn't know anything about Eurovision going into it. I'd watched it a few times as a kid and it's boring. Yeah. So I'm like, not going to watch it, not going to be into it. It came here. I was annoyed at first at mm. being asked to cover it. And really? I was like, all right. I don't know anything yeah. about it, but fine. But then I get paid up with who I like to call Eurovision Chris. 
That's <laughs> a fair. I mean, he is currently in Sweden right yeah, now so at the time of recording. At the time of recording, he is there watching it all happen. Because yeah. this episode, yeah. I'm guessing, going to come out after yeah. it's all done. A few days stuff. after. Yeah. yeah. So, because it's tonight, isn't it? Yes, for us, it's tonight. For us, it's tonight. Final. For you, time travellers watching it in the future. Yeah. You know who's won. Yeah. But yeah, Chris. Chris is great. I'm going to re- really like rename Chris. his nickname now. Okay. So he was Eurovision Chris, but now he's... Is he big croissant Chris? Did you see that? That's, that's going to be a different nickname. But yeah. He has a giant croissant. <laughs> I know. I've seen that. I'm going to have to send him <laughs> this. to the Echo like, website to see. you have to send him this podcast. Like, we talked about you. Um, but he was a mass- massive help to me. Like He yeah. was my Google the whole time. Oh, but he's it, fab. His new, his new nickname for while he's there is Boots on the Ground Eurovision Chris. Bit long, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's basically <laughs> what he is, though. He's giving yeah. you all... Boots on the ground, the Eurovision Chris. He's there, he's ready, he's got he's, all the info. He's thriving, he's in the present, he's in yeah. the moment. He's getting... He's just loving life. Yeah. Um, he's loving just there. seeing his Insta. He's not there for work, he's just there. And I, I asked him, are you working? And he was like, not really. And I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> not really. He's like, little bits. And I was like, oh, okay. It's like, you're there for the vibes, mainly. Okay. Don't mind me drinking Pepsi. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quench the thirst. <laughs> oh god, I knocked it. I love the ASMR. Hello and welcome to the cozy corner. And this is a mindfulness break now. <laughs> and let's talk about your vision very quietly. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> knowing me and knowing you. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can imagine people listening going like. And like turning it up, and then we're just like, "Hello!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. headphone I users. peaked the yeah. audio there. I think that's Ha-ha. all right. We can allow that now and again. You're gonna have to put a headphone but, warning on this. This is why you shouldn't have invited me to do this. <laughs> I'm too. Loud. We need to stay I'm, on track. What I was gonna say, this relates right. We did a Facebook Live on the pier head. Oh yeah, uh, Eurovision. Waiting for people. You know, like the queue of people. Oops, going into yeah. <laughs> the Euro Village, right? <laughs> yeah. And do you remember the internet going about five times? Oh, because the signal is horrendous so around people, there. So many people. It's bad there up. anyway. To be it fair, it is bad there anyway. But then, with the amount of people who were waiting, like queuing up to get into the Euro yeah. Village, I love that. I don't know whether they do that anywhere else. The whole Euro Village thing. I'm not sure. I don't know. That was amazing. The it, vibes, the were vibes were really good, and I think as well because my sister worked it because she mm. at the time was like kind of, you know, like a, a hospitality for yeah. hire kind of situation, and she said it was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Imagine like, it would and, be. you know, and I mean, obviously it was busy, but yeah. like there wasn't really much like, no. uh, you know, issue. You know, there weren't many issues and no. stuff. But I think. I mean, because I didn't go that much. I won't lie. That was the problem with no, working Eurovision. There was so much to do. Th- th- didn't get much time to kind of actually... No. I-, I mean, obviously we enjoyed I mean, it, but it wasn't like... most time was spent editing Yeah. whatever we got. Because I think, you know, when you cover an event, like I did Creamfields yeah. last summer, right? And when you cover an event, it's still fun. And obviously it's a, it's a really, really great opportunity to be and able to cover it for work. Yeah, it can, but it can a, feel like, you know, it's an absolute honour and a pleasure to be yeah, able no, to of course. have that access. But there's a difference between covering something and, and not. You know, even Comic-Con yes. last weekend. Yeah, I didn't cover it this year. And you were there though for yeah. the podcast. Yeah, so I still went, but I wasn't stressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, and that's the thing, isn't it? Because, you know, so. obviously you want to get as much coverage as possible. You want to yeah. show off everything. I think with Eurovision, there was so much going on. I remember when the final when the final was on, oh. I was in Camp and Furnace. Yes, yes. Doing a Facebook Live of the yeah. results. And don't get me wrong, it was great. But there was something a bit stressful about standing in a really crowded mm-hmm. venue with a tripod and a camera trying to film. Yeah. Because it's like, and I'm short, right? <laughs> And and obviously to get the crowd, you had to put the phone like dead high up, and then it's like I was stood next. to I was like gripping this tripod because I was like, what if it gets knocked over? What if yeah. someone steals my bag, which was on and the floor? Drinks and all that. No, well. exactly. And so like I think, and I, that that sounds so like <laughs> first world problems. But you know when you're covering an event, well, yeah, you've got to have pressure. like your your, your 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 journalist head on, but also your your video so, head. Yeah, and your wits you know? about you as well. Exactly. Because you've got to be anything. like, right, is this gonna work for content? 
is yeah. this not going to work for content? You know what I mean? And yeah. but it, I mean, it's great because we're, I mean, dare I say, we're good at our jobs. So <laughs> we know what yeah. to kind of look out for, but you, yeah. something could happen. You know, like spontaneous yeah. dance breaks. But you that, say a lot spontaneous of human combustion. Well, you never know. This is the thing. You've got to be ready for anything, haven't you? Do. You? you know, and God forbid someone bursts into flames. My uncle um, used to be a fireman. He he said, like, there's been a case of that. I thought you were going to say your uncle blew up. No. <laughs> no. No. He's good. He's fine. Yeah, that's good. Um, no, he, like, worked on a case where that happened. Jeez. Yeah. Intriguing. It is. Yeah. But back to your revision. Um, I w- just wanted to mention again, um, the only way that I got through all of this Eurovision coverage because we're doing what's on as well like you were focusing on Eurovision but you also had to focus on news as well yeah. regular news so you were doing like two jobs and then I, there's me just being like this is funny Chris Vibing. who's that and who's that and who's that and who's that like and Chris was just Eurovision Google yeah giving me all the info I only got through it because of him like I knew nothing he it was He's an really, encyclopedia really of Eurovision history. He knew everything. So I was just going off of him. And it worked so smoothly. Like, I don't... We just got on the same wavelength so quickly. And I think because, like, his passion is Eurovision. So yeah. then talking about it, he was happy to. And I was just listening, like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm here for the vibes. Yeah. And then when I kind of realised what Eurovision is all about, it's not just about singing. Like, you look at it and you think it's a singing competition. It's a lot more than that. Yeah, like, I mean... There's a lot more to it. There really is. And it's more just about expression. Yeah. And... Vibes? Vibes, yeah. Going back to you asking me how to make the jingle. Yeah. Vibes. Yeah. It's what you put out. It is. Because don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes people are voted for because people like them. Or it could be political as well. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. But also, like, if you're singing and you're not as good to sing it but you've got the vibes or the, the staging like, yeah. is amazing yeah then yeah. yeah there's a lot of different elements to it no, definitely. and fashion is also a massive element like we did something called the turquoise carpet we did which i say we i wasn't there no but you were working we, from we, the office as, yeah so like, i we was were sending present content in spirit yeah <laughs> you you were there in spirit but you were in the office editing all the content that we were sending back yeah. so you were a massive part of the team there like because obviously we can't edit when we're there out yeah. capturing in the field. You Same know. thing that happens with Aintree, I think. Yeah. We also covered the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've covered so many things. Yeah. So many. So many. But it's been fun. It has. It has. It's been good. But, um, yeah, that turquoise carpet, literally, we had a massive issue, me and Chris. Yeah. Because during this time, Facebook decided to change how they do Facebook Lives. So they were promoting portrait lives instead yeah. of um, landscape. landscape. So vertical instead of horizontal. Yeah. And the only way I remember the difference between them two is horizontal, you lie down. <laughs> so I'm like horizontal. I'm When I lie down, I'm horizontal. <laughs> that, That's that, how I remember it. I mean, that is accurate. Yeah. That is accurate. I'm stand up and I'm vertical. So <laughs> yeah. That's how my brain works. Um. So yeah, uh, oh, sorry, this is like a bee or a fly or something that's coming. Oh, yeah? Is it a bee? No. No, it's not. It could possibly be a wasp. I don't know. Nah, it's not a wasp. We'd be able to hear I it I think that's a honeybee, actually, because yeah. they do look long. It's a friend. It's gone anyway now. It's gone. Bye. <laughs> um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. So, getting back to the issue that me and Chris had. So, it decided it's come back in. It's just... <laughs> It's fine. It's just curious. You keep an eye on it. Okay. Well, I tell a story. So the issue was Facebook was promoting it more as portrait than landscape. Mm-hmm. And that meant a big issue for us for us because we were filming it this way. Yeah. So then if it's portrait, it automatically flips it this way. It's going to crop off a lot of the image. Now, we didn't know this. And it was also sideways, right? Like so, if you're filming it landscape. Yeah. So then... Oh, I see what you mean. It kind it of changed it, it to be... Yeah, it cropped it in. But it was also still... People had to keep turning their phones to look at it. Oh. Yeah, it was bizarre. I've but Facebook had, had no, This was like just when they first rolled out this new promotion for like portrait style lives. Yeah. Don't, we didn't get any kind of... Normally when Facebook does something, yeah. they tell like 
organizations like you know media yeah. outlets and be like oh we've got a new update and then we're all aware of it yeah not this time so that was a nightmare and in, instead of starting the live over again because we've been going and we we had like quite a lot of people on the live yeah like there was like 900 and something people at one that point that is naughty yeah that's insane for like facebook live so i was like i can't stop this even though it's set up incorrectly now like it's the way facebook has done it and the only way i found out is i went on you know to check to yeah. see is the live doing okay and obviously people were busy in the office so they weren't like getting back to me right away because mm-hmm. so i was like how's the live i was like oh, they haven't got back right i'll have a little look and then i was like what's going on yeah oh my god one of the biggest events that you the biggest for this year yeah and i'm messing this up right now yeah but it's not your fault no but in the moment you oh well no yeah in the moment like feel... literally a pit opened up in my stomach and i was like no 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 no. and chris is reporting away talking about yeah. your vision i'm like yeah it's all good, oh god chris it's all good <laughs> yeah oh my god like well oh my god yeah so, i mean when you're live well, yeah you, you can't do anything you know what right brief segue but it's relevant right ain't tree this year yeah i was doing a live with the lovely emily slight yeah she's wonderful she's lovely yes. we did a live of the um uh fashion award the, the, style, oh, the awards, style, style awards, awards. yeah and as we were live someone ran onto the camera and pulled the microphone off and then started like swearing into I it. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, so, and obviously, all mm. you can do is apologize and be like, yeah. I'm sorry, but you are live. You can't cut this this stuff no. out. You know? Well, it's something's like, happened to me at Aintree where someone came and blew smoke in my face and then said the N word. Now, they wear black, and obviously, that might be a part of their culture. I don't know, like their life. So, they may be reclaiming that word and it be a part of their culture. So, I can't apologize on behalf of them for that. Because me apologising could be very much taken the wrong way and could even be spun as being racist then. Mm. So I was like, I literally can't do anything here. Mm. It was a very brief moment. Yeah, it was brief, it luckily. Was, it, you know, and, and I then I just asked reasoning. him about his outfit and he was more than happy to talk about his outfit yeah. and then he moved on. Yeah. So yeah. it was all right, really, in the That's end. That's the thing, when you're live, I've just hit the wall then. That's okay. It, it will stay standing that's good <laughs> um, it just what? falls <laughs> god imagine just like you know like in a cartoon where it'll be yeah. like a picture and just when you're live because you know things can happen you know i've had the odd issue that i won't i won't go into much but you know i've had circumstances where you've been told you can film something you know it's going to be a great film mm-hmm. opportunity you do the thing it goes up the article goes up and then the next day yes. i think you know what i'm talking about yeah. the next day you get a complaint and it's like this video's done amazing we got all the permissions we needed to get and it's yeah. only afterwards that people have issues so there's that as well yeah. you know sometimes That's such a pain it happens because the amount of afterwards. work that goes into it as well yeah people don't realize how much work video editing can actually be no of course and creating a journalistic piece in that visual visual yeah. form like there's so much work there's yeah. the planning beforehand the actual going out and shooting like arranging it going out and shooting then the editing oh of course like, there's a lot that goes into it and then to be told like take it down yeah no <laughs> you just want to be like no yeah we're not going to i know like, and and, and yeah. it's important to to clarify like in our roles at reach i've just done it again hit the wall <laughs> um we're always respectful Oh, we all, all we time. follow the, yeah. the rules to a T. We're respectful of yeah. people. We would never. That's film how you without get the best consent. kind of content. Yeah, exactly. As well. And we're we're um, considerate. Yeah, and that's not just videos. I mean, everyone in oh, yeah. in the company is considerate. Yeah, I haven't met anyone who has who isn't exactly. Up, up you know, and we're yeah. just doing our job. Yeah, and if we didn't do our job, there wouldn't be any news. No. So re- well, not not there oh, wouldn't be any on? news. There wouldn't be any <laughs> any any content for yeah, to read. No, there you know, and it's like everyone works so hard. It's a hard job, mm-hmm. and it's 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 not just like, oh, here we are trying this drink, or like, oh, here we no. are at Eurovision. Obviously, that was an amazing thing to do. It but was. there's so much that goes into yeah. it. Yeah, I think. And I... Eurovision was a once in a lifetime opportunity for coverage. Yes. But yes. every day you're doing different things. 
Yeah. Every day you've got some new thing that you have to do. I love it when they comment and be like, what's this plastic scouser doing on the Echo? I get that as well. I was born in West Derby. I don't know why my accent is a little bit posher than the average scouser. Yeah. But hey, we're calling it a soft scouse accent. Mine is too. My dad's not scouse, that's the thing. Yeah. He's um he's not from round here, but my mum born and bred. I've lived yeah. here all my life except for three years when I went to Solver Duny. Yeah. And even then people when it's weird when you move away, people are like, Oh my god, your accent's so thick. Yes. And then you come back and like other And like no one like, believes you're that you're a scouser. scouser. <laughs> yeah, it's like I literally am. Do you want my birth certificate? Like what do you want from me? To me, I identify as a scouser. Well, you are yeah. you are a scouser. Thank you. And also, can you please well, tell all of the people on the Echo well, Facebook they live? Me. They call me Tatty Ed half the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, I'm joking. There's a lot of people that call me. I also got um, called um, <laughs> the fat one off Bridgerton. Like, first of all, she's gorgeous. So thank Nicola you. Nicola Cochran. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I know they didn't even say her name. Boss. They were like the fat one from Bridgerton. It's like, first of all, fat is no longer an insult. It's a descriptor. So, but also, I mean, she's gorgeous. So I don't know how she is stunning. It was said as if it was supposed to be an insult. But it's like that's and I'm like, that's but a she's compliment. one of the most beautiful people that I've ever seen. Yeah. She's gorgeous. She is, and she pulls off that Regency era. Yeah. Also, Derry Girls. Amazingly. Yeah. Derry Girls is I like... I mean, I've only seen like a little bit of that, funniest... but she was funny in that. She's got incredible comedic timing. She's got great range. Have you well. seen the bit where she's like, uh, spoilers for Derry Girls, when she comes out as a lesbian? I've and seen then she's like, that, look yes. at the state of you. Yeah. <laughs> that like... was so good. That was such a good accent, but... You know, she's great. Yeah. Nicola's I great. I absolutely 10 out of 10. Her. I adore her work, and I think that she's doing great. And she's actually going to be in Doctor Who, isn't she? She is. So Not like, this season that's just started, but... No. Christmas special, right? Yeah, Christmas. So you know what? I'm going to take that and run with it. Uh, yeah, as I, you should. Yeah, love to be compared People, to her. People, I think, sometimes think they're being worse than they are. Yeah, it's like, do you not realise what a massive compliment that is? Yeah, and sometimes, you know, when people are like, um, <laughs> like, oh, slow news day and stuff. Yeah, like if you're doing like a what's on piece or something. Yeah, it's like, like oh, well, okay, so if we day. just did, you know, murder, murder, murder people and then you're like, like let's try this new pizza place yeah well no but if you only did i know this that's horrible, so you know people people would be like oh come on brighten up people don't just go to you the echo wait. and other news outlets for news you go to it for entertainment yeah. and for what's on it's like when there's events happening you know obviously we yes. just had a bank holiday loads of people will have gone online and been like what can i do with my child yeah. today you know go to the beach and whatever they're gonna, they're gonna be looking at the echo they're gonna be looking at the yeah. echo yeah and yet, some people will complain and be like, was there literally nothing else to report on? I don't get that. I'll never get oh, that. Come on. It's as if people think news is just one It has to be hard thing. facts and that's it. Exactly. It's like, yeah. you know, like if a new restaurant opens up, that that's is news. news. That's news. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know what? A new place <laughs> on uh, Lark Lane opened up called oh, Petite yeah. Cafe. There's one in town <gasps> as well. Yes, there's um, so it's by nice. Chinatown, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's truly, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's opposite. The, yeah. It's so nice, good. Mm. So They don't do like, even though it's called Petite Cafe, <laughs> it's not a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had to learn this the hard way. I wanted to go in for food. and um, But it, it's not food. It's, it's like a bar. Like coffee and bites, maybe? No, no, like, bar? like like cocktails, wines. Oh, I'd be thinking it's like a coffee No, place. I know same, but... But it's really nice in there. But they, in they have like, like bar snacks. Yeah, I've been stuff. in with Abby once. Like we had a quick drink because yeah. it was a hot day. I think you do coffee that actually, it. but it's mainly like yeah. wine and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was really nice. You know, there's been a few good places opened up. I think that has been. It's been yeah. loads in Liverpool. But getting back to Eurovision. <laughs> Bloody hell, circle I back. I know. I know. We're all over the place, but that's what we're here for. And just disclaimer: there might be some noise in the background, but we've got the doors open and all that. So there are neighbours out. You can fucking deal yeah. with it. We're not going to suffocate in here with the heat. We're leaving the doors open. So there's kids playing, so you might hear that. But oh well. Um, but yeah, talking about like behind the scenes and all that of yeah. Eurovision, I wanted to like, touch on that. Okay. So we were able to, we actually both got the opportunity to go at the same time with Eurovision Chris. Boots on the ground, Eurovision Chris. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go live now to Chris. Are you there in, in Sweden? Yes. <laughs> I feel like we should have arranged that. Like, to be just like have him 
like be live and like announce the winner. <laughs> that would be amazing. Because it was it was at like one or half one. He yeah. said, like I was considering it, but I was like it's too much to take on him. Like That's a lot. at this last minute, like and he's too busy. <laughs> like he is very busy. But imagine that being able to go live and like yeah. yeah. Joey's you know got a Pokemon. Um, I love that I was pretending I have an earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a Pokemon tattoo. Really? He does. Oh, I can't remember cool. which Pokemon it is. I think it's Snorlax. Oh, cool. If you're a Pokemon fan. I know a little bit about it, but yeah. like not loads. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. I didn't know that about them. Well. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying. Sorry. Um, oh, behind the scenes Behind stuff. the scenes. So, yeah, we got to go there, all Speaking three of us. Speaking organisers and stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Um, there was like a little media centre in yeah. there. People... It was in the exhibition centre, wasn't it? Yeah, and you could watch. And then you walk over. On a over. screen, you could watch. We all had to be escorted over when we wanted to go behind the scenes, which was... I felt like I was being babysat. Yeah. There was there was very tight security for good reason, obviously. Oh, yeah. But it did feel there was like I swear there was like two barriers you had to go through. Yeah. And stuff. Which yeah. is great. And I oh, hear for it, oh, but yeah, I got security so was immense. Do you ever get that going through like airport security? Even though I've not done yeah. anything wrong, I get the fear. I did that when I had to do a live. Yeah, with, with, when you went through Yeah. Oh our, my god, was that our um, old boss Ian? Shout out to Ian. Shout out to Crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we went through because we were there was like this new plane, Lufthansa or something. Yeah. And the plan was I'm gonna be on the tarmac with the plane behind me. Yeah. It's like landing and coming in. When we get there, and it's so like the plane's landed. Oh. And we're like, oh, <laughs> so we had to quickly get through security. Oh jeez. I forgot the whole thing about not bringing water. Oh. So course. I've got a bottle of water bottle in of water. my bag. I said that we bought water water a bottle of water a bottle of water, <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> so i have water in my bag and i'm trying to get through security and then the next minute i'm holding everyone up and i'm like ian just go you go and he's like no no i'll wait and i'm like literally i'm gonna be here a while like yeah and then she the woman made me drink the water oh my god chug to like prove it's safe because there's oh, a shit. lot of it so i was like just drinking the water really awkwardly like that's stressful it's that. not acid i promise Jeez. like, like i'm so petrol. sorry and yeah she was like okay that's fine you can keep it and i'm like okay thanks i also did have my lunch in the bag as well girl thing was though ian picked me up in me ha- like at the house to go there like yeah. six in the morning yeah like i got up so early i think i got up at like half four that morning because yeah. i was gonna be on camera so i had to do hair and makeup yeah so, but I didn't want to do like full hair and like full glam, so I only took my hair in like a ponytail and like did some makeup. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is acceptable. And um, then he picked me up and we went. So I've got like everything in my bag for the yeah. full day: lunch, water, everything I might need. And uh, it was when we got to the airport, I was like, like when we were going through security, mm. I was like, I have my lunch and water with me. This isn't gonna go down well. Why didn't you leave it in the car? Because my backpack had all the equipment in that we needed right. to film. Yeah. And it, I just totally forgot about my lunch in the water. Mm. And it wasn't until they were searching everything. And then she was like, water, like, is this yours? You packed all this yourself. I'm, like, I'm not even going on holiday. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> like, yeah. And then we did have to take passports and stuff yeah. to like show ID. I said, like, I am so stressed right now. Yeah, that does sound stressful. Oh, like... And I felt so bad holding up Ian. And I'm like, Ian, literally just go. Oh my God. Just film it. My like, stomach's rumbling. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought you meant like you were feeling ill from my story. No, no, I was going <laughs> to No, my stomach has just made a noise. Oh. <laughs> made a pretzel. Yes. Keep talking. Keep I'm talking. listening. We have snacks. Um, <laughs> Faro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I was like getting really stressed about that. And then we got through it and all that. And I got through it mentally. <laughs> and the plane's like coming in so we get the like jackets on that we've got away near the high vis and we're quickly on the tarmac and then Ian's like okay go so it was that quick Mm -hmm. and I'm like frozen for a minute and then I'm like hi I'm Emily and Mm -hmm. I just like got into it and I I, I was like I'm on autopilot how is this working no, it was I'm, a good life. I haven't even messed what up once. What time did you actually go live, though? I don't know. It was early. Mm. Like, seven in the morning or something. Yeah. Like, it was early. Jess Moll had to do uh, one of them recently. Yeah, I've seen that. She was shout out to yeah. Jess Moll. Yes, shout out. Honorary member of the video team. Yeah. She yes. does the nostalgia mm. articles. Also known as 
Nostalgess? Nostalgess. That, am I saying that right? That's right. Okay. She is a real one. She is. Yes. She's a G. Love her. We love her. I miss her. I miss I miss seeing her. She's amazing. I She's make it so my, fun. <laughs> I make it my uh, daily task to put my Shrek ears on <laughs> and make her laugh. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that happening. She's very really funny. She is. Yes. You so were saying. Facebook lives are a fucking pain in the they arse. They are. They really are. You can are. that. Like, I mean, I enjoy them when it's happening sort of thing. But, like, sometimes it can be stressful leading up to it and then it's unpredictable. And then afterwards, the comments usually aren't great. But, Don't look at them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got to either have really thick skin to be able to look at them mm-hmm. and get past it or don't look at them ever. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the only way to get yeah. through it. But um, that one, even though it was mental and it was stressful, I actually really enjoyed it. Because it yeah. was so run and gun. It was so on the go. And I loved... I was talking to this guy, interviewing him. Mm-hmm. Right. And you can't hear a thing because of the plane. Yeah. But I'm hoping this is being picked up. Yeah. And I'm looking at Ian and he's like... Like, yeah, all good. This is going well. And I'm like, okay, great. And then the next minute, I look at Ian again to be like, is everything still going okay? He has disappeared. He's far away now. And I'm like, why is he so far? Oh, my God, there's a plane. Like, the plane why was right come behind. Why did you? No one told us. I was like... So so you were interviewing him and Ian just left? <laughs> Ian? Well, he backed up to be quite far away. And I wondered, why is he so far away? He's just, like, getting a wide shot. Like, what's happening? And then... It's so loud. Your ears get used to the loudness, so you can't tell if it's coming closer. Okay. Because even when it's far away, it's deafening. That's why they all wear earmuffs, but we didn't get given earmuffs. The guy did. I didn't. Bruh. So I do, I'm not having a clue what's going on. I'm just interviewing. I mean, it'll heart out, you know. You're like, just doing your so thing. So, where's this plane <laughs> go? <laughs> really? <I'm> not- <laughs> <laughs> really? It flies? Wow, How do you love that. Planes fly. <laughs> Tell me all about this. Yeah. And then you turn around and it's And it was literally it's about to run us over. God. <laughs> that reminds me of the end of Toy Story 2. <laughs> <laughs> Were you Woody? It felt like it in that moment. Wow. Like so yeah, then we quickly kind of get out the way and I'm c- still continuing to interview as this is happening now. As you're like sprinting for your life. Yeah. Well, we just kind of went to the side to let the plane pass mm-hmm. and I could I could see the pilot that's how close we were I could see him yeah. in the window I was like is this the pilot there and he looked he didn't look happy because like, we were in the way yeah <laughs> like I felt so bad but like it was amazing that no one like made us get out the way yeah it's like what was uh, were you just gonna let that happen like <laughs> I also didn't like, because there's loads of security there yeah but none of them came off i was like that's really weird yeah but it made for a really funny story in the end i mean no that is that is wild i mean i was gonna say i also did an airport related story oh i remember i be fair right and uh, what because what you said about being able to see the pilot you reminded me yeah so we were interviewing people going to ibiza um that was it but then we also like went outside looked at the plane but that was not the most interesting thing about that <laughs> the most interesting thing about that was actually interviewing people who were going to go to Ibiza I love that. and we basically myself and another Ian photographer Ian who also deserves a shout out because he's yes, there's brilliant. multiple Ians <laughs> um he um we found this family it was like a dad a mom and then like three kids and right? I love that those kids and we went up to them and we were like, oh. oh, can we speak to you about Ibiza? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get the camera out and I was like, what do you plan on doing on your week away? And the guy goes, sex all week, love. <laughs> like and in front of the kids. The and the, the mum is like, oh my God, like, stop it. And then the kids are like, look horrified. You'd be so embarrassed. It was hilarious. But oh my God. It was bad. So funny, though. We've covered every topic except Eurovision at I this know. point. Yeah. I feel like, what, are we wrapping back this to up? Eurovision. Or are we going back right. to Eurovision? I'm going to stick to How long have this? we been recording? Almost an hour. Oh, my God. And it, but to be fair, Cozy Corner episodes, we didn't really have a time li- limit on it. Like, it is... It's very chill. 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 Cozy, yeah. Oh, I wanted to touch on with the um, takeaways carpet. Um... 
although there was stuff going wrong and all that, yeah. we did have a lot of great interactions with people. Once we figured out the live was not was working, not working yeah. we adjusted and we just went with it the way yeah. it was. So I had to move it to make sure it got people on camera. Mm-hmm. But we spoke. And I, I will never forget this. This is like literally the best day of my life. We spoke to Alessandra from Norway. Yeah. She queen of the kings from the first bit in the wind. That was so good. Amazing. And uh, she is phenomenal. <laughs> good impression as well. Thank you. <laughs> she is phenomenal though. She's gorgeous. Not only gorgeous, but she's so talented. Um, she came up to us and we were like, "Can we get a quick interview?" And she was loving it. Like mm-hmm. she was there for it because some of them weren't. Like May Muller said no to interviews. Mm-hmm. Cha 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 guy wasn't really doing interviews. So, like, a few of them weren't. Mm-hmm. Understandable, because it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, busy. I get it. Yeah. They're busy. So, we got one with her. And the th- first thing she said to me is, you know the way I sometimes wear glitter eyeliner? Uh-huh. Don't I? Got a little bit of glitter today. You do? But not glitter eyeliner. Because that takes precision. But you've and got I didn't glitter have eyeshadow on. Yes. Had to was your Eurovision episode, so I've yeah. got to. I have so, done nothing of the, of the but sort. But to be fair, I am a glitter girl. I'm not. And it's so funny because Abby actually has a fear of glitter. What? Yeah. So, you know, when I was wearing glitter eyeliner at Comic-Con, she couldn't look me in the eye properly. Because <laughs> she's got a fear of glitter. Where does that even come from? I don't know. A fear of glitter? It's mainly, worried it's gonna it's get mainly the texture and that it, it goes everywhere. Like, right. okay. So she said, it's Fair not point. too bad when it's on my face. <laughs> like, okay. Great. Fair point. But she can't fully, like, look at it. Yeah. So... When we first met, actually, in person, I, I had glitter eyeliner on and I wondered why she was looking at me weird. Now I know. To be fair, how, you wouldn't have been able to guess that that was the reason. No. Even if you had a hundred years, I don't really think like I'd be able to I was guess. Like, she doesn't really like me. But no, it's just the glitter eyeliner. It was just a fear of glitter. <laughs> but <laughs> Alessandra didn't fair have point. that. Yeah. Alessandra came over to me and she immediately went, Oh, I love your, your glitter eyeliner. Oh, She's like, it's so sparkly. Yeah. She also kind of had like a bit of a glitter vibe going yeah. on. And I was like starstruck. I was like, oh my God, marry me. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, God. So like we had a brief little conversation with her. Yeah. And I told her how amazing she looks and like I, that I love, you know, music and all that. Mm-hmm. And then um, yeah, it was just honestly the best interaction of my life. That is so valid. Like, Who's the most famous the, person you've you've interviewed? And not even necessarily um, like interview. I mean, like Liverpool films, famous films. Stephen Graham. Stephen Graham. He's pretty famous, famous oh, though, isn't yes, he? Yes, yeah, but he's like particularly in Liverpool. Yeah. And then normal fame, fame. Michael Rooker. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Walking Dead. He's yeah, he's done a things. lot, hasn't he? Oh yeah. Is that Comic Con? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Vampire Diaries people. Yeah. And, um, oh yeah. my God, and I was so jealous, you met Ashley Green. <gasps> Ashley Green! I got to give you a shout out there. I had to go. I can't remember yeah. why I had to go, but I had to leave. I had another had to event go back to, to cover, to, the office, to do something it? else. Yeah. That was it. And you met Alice from Twilight. She was the lead. Yeah. She told me all about the baseball scene. Stop it. And how she improvised it. Stop. And she wasn't supposed to do that. Stop. And like, I yeah. can't hear this anymore. I know. She's so fit. Sorry, I got a bit aggressive. Stunning. Though. Stunning. I just think she's fit. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, she is fit. Yeah. We've covered Who Can't Sing. The rehearsals, we kind of touched on a bit there. We're like, it was really fun getting to see that. You it know, was good. We enjoyed that. And, you know, seeing how they all kind of prepare yeah. for all that. That was amazing to just get to witness that and see, like, because there was that whole thing of what was the surprise going to be? There was going to be a surprise. I know. And it was mad, and wasn't it? It ended up being Sonia. And then some other people singing You'll Never Walk Alone. Yeah. Which I didn't expect. No. And you know what as well? The intro video. Do you remember this? The intro video to Eurovision had yes. Paul Grady in it. Yeah. And he, he, he'd only yeah. just passed on. So that was that pulled on the heartstrings for people. That did. Okay, so we are back now. We took a brief intermission yeah. and we're ready to go again. It got a bit hot. It did as well, yeah. It was a bit warm. Yeah. We were talking about Eurovision, among many other things. So many things, but mostly Eurovision. And I you've think. got a list there of things that you've yes, to bring Yes, I've up ticked off a few stuff. I haven't got round to yet. So you were going to talk about... How it impacted the city last yeah. year. Because um, we were talking about like behind the scenes and all that. 
um, and we kind of touched on the Euro Village and all that, but I really think throughout the city there was like a really good vibe, wasn't mm. there? And I, like I was saying before, it really helped that the weather was so good. Yes. If it had yeah. been raining. Oh, it would have been awful. It was like perfect beer garden weather. Yes. And stuff, and everyone was out, everyone was happy, town was absolutely rammed, and yeah. people had come from like all over, being like, oh my God, I love the city. Like, Yeah, people travelled. Literally. To come and see it. Yeah. And obviously hotel rooms and all that were sold out. Yeah. There was this whole thing with, um, oh, what's the actor's Airbnb. name? No, oh, the actor's okay. name. Will, Will Ferrell? Ferrell? Yeah. F- yeah. So he was saying like, oh, I'd love to come to Eurovision, like... Um, and he tweeted asking for a room and loads of people were being like, Come stay you can have house. our room. Yeah, because yeah, like every hotel was just booked. It was just, and it was- everyone, even if they weren't Eurovision fans, they got on board. Yeah. Same as like me and you, like we didn't yeah. know much about it. But then we fully got on board once we realised. Yeah. No, definitely. What this event is all about. And like I dived in with the fashion. Yeah. Now I'm not normally a fashion you girly. Did. I forgot no, about that. I'm not mo- normally more of like a makeup girly. Yeah. I'm not really that into fashion. But for this, I was like, I have got yeah. to go all out. Can we like insert? I will. I'll, pictures. I'll put some pictures up. Here. I ended up. I'm adding to your okay. Instagram. <laughs> put it here. Oh, God. Put it here, picture. I'm not that advanced for Edson, you know. Well, what? To put a picture on the... In certain places, like, like small. I'll try. If I did achieve it... Then you all need to comment. Well done, Emily. <laughs> Put, it Put it right here. Oh, God. So yeah, I did end up getting like really into it with sparkly jackets and blazers and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, you looked really cool. Thank you. You had like three different sparkly jackets but as well. Four. Four. Oh, four. Four. One of them I didn't debut. <laughs> was it gold? No. Yeah, it was like a brownie gold. Oh yeah, because I remember you showing me, and I was like, yeah, the multicolored one. Yeah. For the final or whatever. It was. Oh yeah. The rainbow one was always gonna be that for the was final. The one. It was. I've still got it and I love it. No, it's great. You could like yeah. push that out for like yeah. so many cool well, things. Because like our like involvement with Eurovision was quite last minute. Mm-hmm. We were told like the week before we we like oh you are actually gonna be covering it. Yeah. So I was like, I have to rethink my entire wardrobe. <laughs> like, no, I, I didn't do nearly as much. Uh, well, because I'm what's on there as well. Like mm. it felt more the vibe. Mm. As like I feel like with being the what's on person, I need to really bring the vibes yeah. and put the audience in the mood. Mm. So I wanted to to do that mainly for the what's on audience. No, that's so do you know fair. what I mean. Your fans. So my fans. Yeah, I, I have got recognised in a taxi before, you know. Yeah, why, yeah. And why shouldn't you? Exactly. Like, the tree, they were like, I think I've seen you on the Echo. I was like, probably. Do you want to know the worst <laughs> place I got recognised? Where? The Lisbon, the gay bar. Oh. And a guy came up to me and asked me for a picture. Oh, no. And I was Oh, drunk. God. I was yeah. Drunk. And I took the picture and then immediately fell over. <laughs> backwards, onto the stairs. How did that happen? I, I was, like, posing. Yeah. And then... I was tripped and fell. Like, but luckily, I was right by the stairs, so I basically just sat down. But yeah, he, he yeah. recognised me and asked for a selfie, and, and I, I, I dread to think of where that selfie's gone because I must have looked. Oh. Like I was in another realm. <laughs> and to be fair, it was on the, the work Christmas do. It wasn't, I wasn't just yeah. out. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I wasn't just out. I, I was specifically yeah. out for the Christmas do. <laughs> so, funny. like, I was a bit, I was making rather merry. And, and yeah, someone asked for a picture and I fell over. Oh. Yeah, it was, ba- it was interesting. It was interesting. I, I like that though. Yeah. I think it's authentic. <laughs> I also had someone at Aintree run up to me. She was drunk. All of these stories involve someone being drunk, but she was drunk and she ran up to me and she grabbed my hands and she went, I've seen you ask people what the best pub is on TikTok. <laughs> I was yes, like, best true. of Liverpool series. That is something I have done, and she was like, "Yeah, I have seen you ask people the best pub." I was like, "Ah, oh, cheers." Yeah, it was funny actually. <laughs> afterwards, I was like, "That's just a brilliant interaction." Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so fun, though. It's nice that like when people you know recognize like the mm. work that you do and stuff yeah, like that. It's nice because like you get recognized, you know, in your job, but then outside of it. That's like it just feels better, like yeah. doesn't it? Because they've got no 
um, what am I trying to say? Like, they've got no stakes in the game, sort of thing. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, they're not already mates with you. They so, don't need to do no, anything. No, the comments you know is one hundred percent genuine. Yeah, of course. So yeah, yeah. oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, I wanted to also mention like so for the this year, although we we do think last year's Eurovision was way better, not just because yeah. it was in Liverpool, but the acts were amazing. Yeah, every single one, even that um, Austria. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. That oh, was great. Oh, oh, I loved oh, that one. Oh, oh, amazing. It was. It was a bop. It was, well, it was, it was a bop. It's like who the hell is Edgar? Yeah. Right? The way she says it was incredible. Who the hell is Edgar? Like, ah, oh, I just forgot about that until just now. I have me? not forgot about I, it since. I, I don't know like, how I forgot about that. But that, that was I great in the memory. rehearsals. Like they were going like full, and like they'd do some takes with it, where they wouldn't have the music, just to hear their vocals and all that. They could sing. Yeah, they were great. Yeah, like I loved them. And they were just, honestly, their relationship kind of reminds me a bit of us. Oh, really? The way they really played off each other, the app banter. Uh-huh. Like, they were just in sync with each other. That's that's good, though, isn't yeah. it? Like, if you're going to be performing, yes, you need to be able to be, like, to bring something. Oh, yeah. Something. They had so much energy as well. Yeah. That was great. They should have been, like, in the in the final form. Yeah. Like, definitely. No, I think they, they were. They were up yeah. there. And there was that one, oh, God, I can't remember now. It was like a boy bandy kind of one. Um, um, I we interviewed them, me and and, and uh, boots on the oh, ground. Oh, boots on the ground, Eurovision Chris, yeah. Um, <laughs> they were, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I made friends with them. Like Switzerland? no, no, no. I will get this. Hang on, because it's that saying, isn't it? It sees the day, but in the Latin phrase. Yeah, carpe diem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, I've forgotten the names. But I'll put it on then screen anyway. if I remember them. Put it yeah. Here. <laughs> God, not this again. Put it there. But yeah. Put it there. So yeah, we'll call them Carpe DM yeah. for now because they were funny. Yeah, they were really funny, and I kind of we interviewed them on the Takeaways yeah. Carpet, and they were really cool. They were telling us that they tried a Scouse pie. Yeah. And like I they loved that. that. They loved the Scouse culture. And that was such a good interaction. Yeah. And then um, they seen me then walking over to the rehearsal the next day. And they were like, Echo Lady! Oh. Hi! And they came running up to me. And everyone, everyone going over, all the press, were all like, what's going on here? It's Love like, that. it's as if they'd known me my whole life. That's so nice, though. And I was like, how are you guys doing? You? Oh, good. Like, you know, we're just rehearsing. I haven't taken a break for a bit. And I was like, see, he's inside. And he was like... Yeah, you will. <laughs> oh my God, it's so that. funny. Like they would, they had so much energy. Yeah. They were like little excited kids. Like that's so nice. Though, it, it was, was like, so funny. Five of them, wasn't there? Was yeah. Six? There was there was quite a few of them, and they vlogged the whole thing as well. Yeah. So did Alessandra as well. So yes. shout out to her. Shout um, out to her. love of my life. <laughs> honestly, honestly, she's gorgeous. She was. Um, and there was someone else as well. Um, oh, Malta. I really liked them. Yeah. I feel better in my sweater. Do, 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 yeah, they were good. They were good on the carpet talking to us. Oh, really? He gave us a little tune, like, on the saxophone. Oh, my God, of course. Yeah. That was, honestly, it's insane to think this was a year ago. I know, and the Bovril talk. They were like, yeah. I tried Bovril the other day, and we were like, why are you telling us that? And he went, it's a Scouse thing. And we are like, is it? Is it? Is it? Are you sure? apparently according to malta it's a scouse thing and they really liked bovril and i was like yeah to be fair i have heard people say about bovril yeah i mean I you know had people it, like, like bovril once or twice yeah it, it's not my go-to i remember jodie comer in an interview with ryan reynolds for um oh, the video game kind of one free guy free guy yeah um they talked about bovril for a minute so then maybe i'm thinking is it a scouse thing I don't know. I don't know. My granddad used to like it. He was a scouser. Yeah, my mum likes it. Huh. So I don't. Maybe it is, well, and I've just not really known. Yeah, me, absolutely. Honestly. I mean, I wouldn't say I love it, but and then one of the Malta guys were like, "I've never tried it. What is it?" And the only way I could think to describe it in a short period of time that we've got with them, and with them not speaking great English, 
I was like, it's kind of like hot beef juice. <laughs> I mean, it is though, right? Yeah. A bit like gravy. Kind yeah. Of. I also mentioned gravy and he was like, why would you do that? I was like, I don't know. It's all right, I don't, isn't it? Like, people tend to drink it more in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why they were having it in It's not May. really like a summer like, drink. Yeah. But they were like, it's great. We take some home. And I was like, enjoy. So enjoy. Do not get <laughs> no, they said we don't have any of this. Oh, okay. We don't have Scouse. We don't have Bovril. <laughs> like, they were list and stuff. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's so out. funny. Yeah, that does check out. That's mostly what we talked about with them. Yeah. It was so funny. I They should have got, like, way higher. Because their song is about mental health and about, like, you feel better in your comfort yeah. thing, like your sweater, and like it was all about not feeling great and feeling anxious. Mm. It's like that's it's a song about mental health. Like this well should have done better. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I love them, but this year I just feel like there hasn't been anything where it's really stood, stood out. out. Yeah. Like Bambi from Ireland. It's Bambi something else, isn't it? Like I've heard a lot of talk about. I've the forgotten like, the rest Irish, of her name, um, but contestant. Yeah, Bambi something very dark yes. satanic even maybe yes yeah For, uh, satanic even. satanic <laughs> vibes i would say yeah well, like yeah but yeah. interesting also a little bit witchy like yeah. and i'm oh, into that yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> we love some witchy vibes but it felt like dark witchy vibes yeah i mean you know yeah i've not really listened satanic to worship <laughs> like well, that's kind of what it gave off it anyway yeah you so know? she she seems like she's doing well anyway with it. I, I've heard a lot of so, talk about her. Yeah. Um, also, like I've I also enjoyed Switzerland mm-hmm. and Australia. Finland, though, they've stood out. Really. Again, like last year, they had you know showstopper. Yeah. Cha 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 cha, and then apparently that song was about pina coladas. You would never guess that. I literally, I I. I would not have guessed that. I no. thought it was just about cha 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 No, apparently he's like got two pina coladas in his hands and he just wants to drink them like cha 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 cha. You're gonna have to yeah. visually watch that <laughs> demonstration. Please don't. Cha 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 cha. Like exactly. Because he it was something about going to the bar and he's got two pina coladas. Yeah. Because someone translated it, and I remember reading it, and I was like, that's insane. That makes sense that it's something... I think the ones that do well are the ones that are just about... He's really definitely random. a pina colada guy. Like, the yeah. more you get to see him and yeah. learn about him at Eurovision, you're like, yeah, he's a pina colada guy. Yeah. No but wonder I, that song's like that. Do you not think the ones like that, that do well are the ones that are just really random? Oh, absolutely. That's, like, like that's that. what Eurovision is about. It's about yeah. being camp. Again, it's about, it's about being weird. It had a vibe. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Like, yeah, that I definitely could have been a winner. Maybe it if it didn't have I other... It you know, like, those contenders, like, Cha-Cha-Cha Guy and, like, Alessandra and Sweden. If if they were in a different Eurovision, mm. maybe this Eurovision, yeah. they well would have won. Yeah. Like, definitely. Yeah. Because it, cap- it just yeah. captures the zeitgeist and, like, everything that Eurovision is supposed to be, this camp expression yeah. of weirdness and fun and uniqueness and yeah. and just music and the whole slogan is united by music of course so oh, yeah it brings it all together and i really do think that is exactly what your is just supposed to be it's yeah. supposed to be just fun you don't take it too seriously but there has been a lot of serious topics lately with your revision hasn't there yeah i mean the whole thing of I do think when people say don't make Eurovision political, I don't know if I necessarily you, agree with that. You can't help but do that. Especially considering last year, Ukraine, you know, was very much at the forefront, as it should have been. It was a way to talk yes. about all the things going on there. And we were hosting it on behalf, so exactly. you couldn't help. There was no way to not make that political. Yeah. And I think that this year, I would have done things differently. Yeah. You know, let's be real. Yeah. It's not been handled in the best way. No, and considering when Russia invaded Ukraine, yeah. they were then banned yeah. from the Eurovision Song Contest. Mm-hmm. And then now with Israel still being a part of the lineup, yeah. even though they invaded Palestine. So, 
how how does, is that working? You know, yeah, it doesn't exactly, seem. I think that's fair. probably why I've not kept us up to date with this year. I think I mm. just, you know, coming from someone, I've been donating a lot to the 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 Palestine, yeah. you know, uh, to to help free Palestine, yeah, uh, and I just think if it were me. I would have maybe done this differently. Yeah. Because even if you look at it from the other side of the coin, the person representing Israel, she's going to get a lot of attention. She has been. She yeah. has been, right? And A lot of it negative. Yeah. And I just think maybe, you know, she's not the person that's doing all this. No, it's not fair on her. Even for her own, I don't know, safety. Yeah. But also more, more specifically, and mental to health make a point. as well. well like, yeah. Yeah. I think maybe it should have been done differently. Yeah. Either they should have been banned from the competition the way Russia were. Yeah. Or there should have been like a different way to go about it. Yeah. I mean, I just don't get when people say, "Oh, it's not political." It's like, well, where have you been? No, it definitely is. Considering, like, as well, Britain never wins. And <laughs> like, well, there's a reason. Yes. You know, no yeah, one really I mean, likes us. <laughs> yeah, let's look back on centuries of atrocities yes. and uh, and uh, pluck, pluck one out of thin air. Yeah, you know, so. uh, that, that, that could easily explain. You know, I just think you know, given the situation that's going on over there, there's a lot of like fraught political and understandable situations. and people are using it as a way to get those issues into the spotlight yeah. as well with of protests. Of course. And you know, I completely understand that, but at the same time often it's being directed at the people who it shouldn't be like the representative for Israel mm. she's getting a lot of heat and a lot of blame mm. and I don't think that's fair I think she's doing her job right now yeah. she's been offered this fantastic opportunity and of course it's a horrendous horrendous timing it's not great Yeah. but she's not the one responsible for everything that's mm. going on but I guess in a way they should have really seen this coming because she yeah, is the figurehead well. at the moment. She's the figurehead. Yeah. And like it or not, people are going to be. Like, where else are they going to direct their, that hate? Their, their yeah. Frustrations. There, you know. Yeah. The whole situation is just absolutely out of control. It is. You know, and I just think to 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 not make a stand is to be, you know, complicit. I think. Yeah. Because yeah. doing nothing is also a choice. No, exactly. And I think if, you, if you're going to make a point, then make a point. Yeah. The, and the some contestants really have... Say anything at all. They have been a bit more vocal yeah. about yeah. the situation, trying to draw attention to it. And even that has gotten them backlash then as well. Yeah. So, but briefly moving on, there's been some developments with a different act. Right. Um, I believe it's Switzerland. Now, I don't know how to pronounce it. It could be... Jost or Juiced? Okay. Jost? Something like that. I'm not even going to well, attempt. I think it's pronounced like Toast or Jost. I don't want to butcher somebody's name. <laughs> I know. I've seen on TikTok someone was like, it's like Toast with, with a J. Jost. So Jost. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. TikTok hasn't let me down so far. Fair enough. <laughs> so apparently, I mean, at the moment, they were kind of my favourite. Right. I was enjoying them. I was like, yeah, this is a vibe. Yeah. I'll have to show you it later because it's similar Mm-hmm. to um cha 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 as well right. like that kind of fun vibe yeah. kooky crazy eurovision campness love it and apparently from what i've heard from our correspondent in sweden at the moment yes it's chris eurovision chris boots on the ground here yeah, yeah. he's, he's um <laughs> um our correspondent over there mm-hmm. <laughs> for the cozy corner <laughs> podcast he is, you know, we've got the budget to fly people out to Absolutely, we do. That is we where we're at right now. That's, yeah. It definitely didn't go on this. No? From a market the other day. <laughs> Which market? Just out of curiosity. It was a pop-up night market. Okay. It was in the night time. It was so cool. In the night it was, time? Yes, it was within content on the Baltic, like, Baltic market area, you know. Okay. There. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. But anyway, so Boots on the Ground, Eurovision Chris has informed me that they're not entirely sure what's been going on. Mm. But what has been confirmed is he, uh, Jost, had apparently threatened a female broadcaster. Right. But this hasn't been confirmed. No, he said it's been confirmed. It's been confirmed. Yes, what? from sources. Oh, shit. And 
they're not entirely sure of any more details. They right. don't know exactly what's went, gone on there. Yeah. Um, but what did happen in the second semi-final rehearsal is they set up a staging, he's ready to go on, and then the next minute they're like, no, take it down. Uh-huh. He's not going on. So, I so guess it was within that time frame something, something happened. Happens. They're setting up to do it, he's ready to go on, and then the next minute, no. Is it worth just quickly hitting up Google and seeing if there's any updates? I've, well, just before we recorded, I've been looking, but I'll do a quick Google now and see. Obviously, by the time this yeah. comes out, you know, we'll know in hindsight what actually happened. That is very odd. That's very bizarre. It seems like he's been disqualified now. Oh, really? It seems like it. They, w- everyone, from? this is from like Sky News, BBC, oh, geez. Eurovision World, The Guardian. So what? So he's been yeah. disqualified? It, from what I'm seeing, yeah, Dutch contestant disqualified from Eurovision Song Contest one hour ago. Oh God! Yeah, so from the Netherlands. That's bad. I mean, and he was my favourite to win, and like everyone was really behind him and rooting for him, you know. And then something's there? happened there. Maybe it's there? a misunderstanding. Maybe it's the pressure. I don't know, well, but not great. Yeah, not great. So, but as a runner-up, right. my one that I would like to win. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if they're in the final, to be fair, but I just want this person to win. So I wanted Finland <laughs> mm-hmm. to win. Again, you know, I liked them last year, but it's Windows 95 guy. Yeah. Yeah. With the He's, merch. Oh, it's so fun. There we go. Yes. I mean, that is It's a just look. funny. That's a look, I think. Yeah, it's just funny. I think that's a strong outfit. <laughs> Style awards. Yes. He'd win if he was in the Grand National. <laughs> what would you do if he, if he was to, in uh, the Grand National? Dressed, dressed like that. Honestly, with the outfits that I've seen, I don't think I'd look twice. No. There's been a few that have been like really mm. just kooky. But I do still think that the staging and all that, many of them could have been better. It's yeah. let it down a bit. It has. There's only been a few where I was like, oh yeah, that actually looks good. Did you see the size of the stage for like the Swedish like Euro village yeah. thing? Yeah, like insane. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it looked like from when we covered it, ours looked bigger. Yeah. Like. No doubt. It just kind of seemed a bit odd, didn't it? I feel like they need to kind of have more of like a people's winner sort of thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like just for kind of like the best vibes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like a different category, maybe. Like best song, best vibes. Like a winner for the best song. Best visuals. Winner for like the best staging or something. Because I feel like many, many different parts are like so different and then they might not be taken into account or they might win because of something else and not yeah. because of the song and like you know people deserve to be credited for all those different things that yeah. go into it so yeah. but to finish up this episode i was thinking we could tell some fun little stories from like our eurovision coverage yeah I mean, mine's the Venga boys but if you've got one you you need to share this Venga boys okay thing we need to hear this. <laughs> I think I might remember what you're talking about. Yeah. But, you know, you need to shed light on this. So it's a really hot day. And yeah. this was the final day of Eurovision coverage. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, I'd already been to the rehearsals and watched them do that. And that was fun. It mm-hmm. was amazing. Seemed Sam Ryder. Like, just, just walk cool. on in in this gold jumpsuit. Yeah. You look great. And um, with long hair flowing. <laughs> and um, I was there taking pictures and like just getting all the video content and all that and i was having a blast yeah so i thought that's a great day i'll go back to the office and just chill now yeah oh no no that's like famous last words change of plans yeah so i do remember being told okay we need to go to the eurovision village we've got some interviews set up with boots on the ground eurovision chris Mm -hmm. he's gonna be leading the interviews and i'm like okay great yeah do kind of need to charge up stuff but i'm sure it'd be fine yeah so (laughs) (laughs) because i just used it but hey so um 
Then we head on over there. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm the mum of the group, so I've got sun cream, plasters, yeah. all that, you know. You're always very well prepared. Yeah, because I'm the mum of the group. You are. I'm the mum of the group. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, the camera bag had camera in, and it had, like, phone, like, work phone, and it also had, like, you know, the little tripod thing that we've got mics on the rig yeah um and then it just kind of had um plasters blister covers for if anyone's feet there was a hurt lot of walking, to be fair. yes there was there was, there was. um water i had a mm-hmm. water mini water bottle in there sorry um then i also had some cereal bars yeah because you never know when the moment's gonna hit you low blood sugar you know yeah and um just you know generals like sun cream and stuff like mm-hmm. that for because it was a hot day and you need to reapply gotta yeah. reapply so i remember getting all that stuff ready um and i offered some to like chris and the photographer ian and all that and they were putting like some sun cream on and all Aww. that and yeah um so i'm being the mum of the group and they're like oh great thanks <laughs> um i remember the photographer ian was like She's still got sun cream and everything in there. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. And I'm That's like, so true. plaster? Because <laughs> it's good to be prepared. Yeah. I, I am so underprepared sometimes. I'm overprepared, like, so it's much. Though. It's good, though. It's good. But sometimes it can physically weigh me down. Yeah. With the amount of stuff. The volume. <laughs> yes. So, we're on our way there. And then we get there. And they were like, okay, so you're going to interview the Venga Boys. And I'm like... I'm not too familiar. I know their name. I know that I've heard their songs. Mm -hmm. And then Chris reminds me who they are. And I'm like, oh, yes, yes, yes. So then we get told, okay, it's just this tent as you go down Mm -hmm. on your right. And we're like, okay, Mm -hmm. there's like five tents. So we're like, no, not that one. No, not that one. Um, I look in one and I can see, do you know Danny Beard? Yeah. I see him. And I'm like, Oh, yeah, <laughs> pop me head back out. This is the changing rooms as well. Cooey. Yeah, so like it was a bit awkward. Then we just get told, oh yeah, it's this one. You can go straight on in. Okay, we go in, and here's the Venga boys half dressed, like they're in the middle of getting dressed. I'm like, oh, so sorry, so sorry. Oh my god, not was on show really, but they were wearing very. The men were wearing very very like tight kind of long john legging uh-huh. situation. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, in a bit too much, but and you hey. were told to go in. Yeah, there was someone outside who said, "Yeah, you can go on in." And did so they mind? Did. They didn't really seem too bothered. Fair <laughs> point. Fair point. So, oh, we'll come back in a few minutes, and then me and Chris were outside, like, "Oh my god!" And then someone came out and was like, "Okay, we've only got about six minutes. Like, they need to go on stage." And I'm like, "I've got to set up and." I need to a test because the sentence probably won't be the same sentence as when I was inside the arena with the music player. Yeah, and yeah. Oh my god, okay. Right, Chris, hold this rig. <laughs> and I'm like, put everything on it. I'm like, Thank you, okay. And then I've clicked the mic onto him. Um, I've got a mic that I'm testing and I forgot the mic hand oh, no. holder thing so they just had to hold the mic. And I was like, oh god, no. Oh my god. Like, everything's just going wrong. And then we'll do, we do the quickest test in history. And I'm like, yeah, fine. <laughs> and then um, they quickly come out and they're all in their gear. Yeah. You know how they are. It's crazy. They yeah. look insane. They looked so good. Yeah. So then we ended up like doing a quick little interview. Um, they were really eager to test out their knowledge of Scouse freezers. Mm-hmm. Even without us asking. Really? And that's like usually an angle for us anyway. Yeah. So... Chris is interviewing them and then she's like are you made up and um, to us we probably didn't see that as like a big yeah. scouse phrase but one of the females were like are you made up we're made up everyone's made up oh my god <laughs> you're like, she's obsessed with saying made up loved it though she she was she was made up she, she was made she up was? yeah <laughs> so she ended up like we were just chatting for a bit and then before they went on stage they were like will we see you up there and I'm like, oh, on stage. Oh, I don't have the access for it. Yeah. Like, we didn't get approved. And they were like, we should just go up. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, I, uh, maybe. So then they go up on stage after our interview. Uh-huh. And 
I was, you know, decompressing from that stressful situation of being so run and gun yeah, yeah, and on the go. And I'm listening back, like, yeah, yeah, that sound was all right. Maybe a tiny bit pitchy, but that's okay for what for how quick this was. That'll be fine. I'm still water damaging. <laughs> like, literally on camera. Well, I've got it now. In the in HD. In water lines. In HD. Sorry. So then <laughs> we were just kind of waiting backstage. Chris had to go. I was like, okay, you do you. I'm going to hang around, maybe get some shots while yeah. I'm here. And then I see, I think photographer Ian did get access. He did, yeah. So yeah. he went up. And then I was just like, should I? Should I try? Yeah. Worst they can say is no. Yeah, worst they can say is leave. Yeah. And I can take that. Mm-hmm. So I just went up on stage with the Venga boys. I mean that if that isn't the perfect way <laughs> to end this episode. Amazing. I don't know what is. I loved it. The security guard. Like I, I don't like uh, I can't even explain, but they were just in a trance dance and like That'd be so Yeah. Nice. And I was like just gonna scoot on past you there. <laughs> like, I love that. So I just danced past the security guard. We were like in a little dance off while I went past. That's the way to get through security. Yeah, it's just dance. Like, I mean, they were in the zone anyway. Because mm-hmm. they were singing like one of their main songs. And they were like, yeah, yeah, you go on for it. Yeah, okay. She didn't like ask didn't for anything. Ask. No. So then I'm on stage with the Venga Boys. They see me and they're like, Oh yeah, you know, oh, interview lady, yeah. And then they're doing their thing, and one of them went to me like, like, come this way. So I went to, but then one of the securities were like, no, no. <laughs> it's like, but they, they beckoned me. Oh, they my beckoned God. me. Do you reckon they wanted you to come up and sing? I hope not. I, I think they just wanted me to be able to get footage. Yeah. Like, on the stage, Luckily, like, Ian there. was down below, wasn't he? He, got he was on stage footage. with me, actually, at this point. Yeah. We were both on stage, and he was like, did you get access? I was like, no. <laughs> no. No. I'm just here. Like... I don't know how, but I'm just here, so... If you can hear that banging sound, it's, it's the blinds. It's the blinds, yeah. Try and ignore them. <laughs> it's the wind. <laughs> I'm just vibing on stage, getting footage, enjoying everything. I can see the audience, I can see the Venga boys. And then this other security guard comes up to me, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I've been made. They found out I'm not supposed to be here. Oh my God, they're oh going to escort me off stage. I'm going to be escorted out this is the worst thing ever but he just went oh you're only allowed to do two songs Uh? little did you know i've been here for four songs but also i wasn't even supposed to be on stage (laughs) oh my god wait so you were only allowed to record two i got four why were you only allowed to record two i don't know but i wasn't even supposed to be there so i was like that's fine i'm not even supposed to be here (laughs) i just walked up (laughs) you abuse the system in the best way well, sometimes you've got to, though. You've got to yeah. be able to be a little bit bold to get what you need. Because mm-hmm. then I remember I was getting messages in the work group chats like, whereabouts are you, Emily? Are you able to do a live? I remember, and I remember you replying. And like, I was like, I replied stage. just with a video of, and they were like, oh, cool. Do you have signal? And I didn't have a good enough signal to fit. I was like, the volume will be horrendous. Because yeah. I am right next to a speaker. Yeah. So it wouldn't have been good. But I did get video of that yeah. moment and all that. And it was just so enjoyable. I remember you were literally bouncing all over the show. You were, like, I'd be, like, busy. And <laughs> bouncing all over. You were. And then, like, I'd look and you'd be like, I'm backstage. And then it was like, I'm here. I remember I took what I think is the coolest selfie of just me on stage and the Venga boys in the background. And I'm like. Do you have that picture? Yeah. Is it on your Instagram? Yes. Insert yeah. picture. Insert, yeah. I'm just adding so, to your editing time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> if you can but, imagine, as well, the atmosphere there was... Oh, it was amazing. Insane. It Phenomenal. was so cool. I loved and we it. Were, like, right by the live building, the weather was perfect, the crowd was It was, was just amazing. It. That must have been a great experience. Literally, I'd be, I was filming, and I'd been filming for a little bit, mm. and then I just went, I'm going to put that away for a minute. And I'm just going to appreciate... This once in a lifetime moment. Literally once in a lifetime. And I just stood there and I was like, yeah, this is amazing. Like That does sound uh, like, you know, that is the kind of the best part about this job is some yeah. of the stuff you get to do mm-hmm. is unreal. Unbelievable. Like, 
that day I didn't imagine I was going to be on stage with the Venga Boys. And yet. And that happened. It was surreal. And like they kept looking and waving at me. And it was just like, this is so fun. Like, and I'm getting paid for this. Literally as well. This is my job. Like it's it's a proper pinch me moment, isn't it? It was. It was. And then I went back to the office and immediately everyone was like, You were on stage with the Venga boys. I mean Honestly, like, yeah. that's one to add to the CV. If you ever change, change, yeah. you know your role, you could be a groupie. <laughs> you could, you could literally just go on tour with them. Best thing was though, they'd seen me and waved to me and all that, and then before they introduced the next song, they were like, "Liverpool, we've got a question for you. Are you made up?" Oh <laughs> because my God. she'd seen me again, she'd remembered the whole made up thing, and she wanted to do it again. And then she looked at me like. Oh my god. <laughs> that is literally iconic. I'm just stood there laughing to myself. Like, what is this day? What's literally going on? Iconic. I just think the the vibes were yeah. I mean that, that doesn't that's that's amazing. Not, like that's way better than my story. Mm. Mine was just about kitchen <laughs> Oh Sophie. <laughs> yes. Kitchen that was great though. That was amazing. She, and she means a lot to you as well. You know, does. you you absolutely love her. So I that's I amazing. Do. And it was boss. Honestly. Yeah. So good. I, I just think the whole thing was just the vibes were great. I can't believe it was a year ago. I know it feels like it was just a few months by. ago, like not like a year. Time's actually flown by. It really is. Like literally a year ago today, we were covering this sort of stuff, and it's kind of scary. We were going home at like I remember I went home at like two in the morning once. Yeah, I, because I, it was fact, that crazy. I remember after the final trying to get a cab back. Oh, I I ended up paying. Now, normally, if I get an Uber from work to home, it's usually, at the most, £15. Pound. Mm-hmm. How much do you think this Uber was? 30 40 50 Almost £50. Pound. Really? Yeah. That's bad, that. But well, I, I had just... no other way to get home. No, no, no. Because well, this doing... is... Trains are off. Yeah, because you can Trains only go done. to certain stations. Yeah. I was trekking all over. After I finished at Calvin yeah. Furnace, I was going to get a cab, couldn't get a cab. So I walked to Central. Central was shut because it was, oh, well, it wasn't shut, but it was like you could only get on there if you're going to Kirby or somewhere. Yeah. I was going to St. Michael's in Egbeth. So I then had to walk all the way up to Moorfields. Thankfully, town was busy. And then this is after covering Eurovision and Literally, being on our feet quite a lot as well. I had a tripod with me. I was so tired. Yeah. And it was like, I. It was really busy and thankfully yeah. town, town. And your busy. brain is fried with yeah. all the content. Because if it was just a regular day, I would not <laughs> be walking around that much no. at night time. Especially no. with equipment. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's another thing. Like walking around with equipment, you know, sometimes you are a bit You're on edge. Conscious. Even in but the you've daytime, got that equipment. Honestly, even in the daytime. Yeah. But especially at night time. Thankfully, on, in, you know, people were kind of a lot of happy, merry people wandering around. Town. I, crazed bit, on Eurovision yeah it was the vibes were a bit better but you know and then having to get the train and then walk back from yeah the station oh it's so funny you know the way you were doing that live yeah of the final well in the office they were watching obviously it live yeah. but there was a delay on the tv and I remember watching your live oh, really? of in real time of the winner being announced mm-hmm. and I was like Sweden's won and then a colleague of ours went, what do you mean? Like, it's not, we're a few minutes away yet from it being announced. And I was like, no, Alice is live and Sweden has won. Finland looks devastated. Like, no, no, no. What? Look, like, and I, I remember I showed him and he was like, right, everyone. And then like, we uh-huh. were going off of your live. Then everyone was watching your live to be able to write up the, well, you know, Tippy tippy fingers on, on the Off computer. The record. Yeah. Who who was it who said that? Elliot. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was like, right, okay, everyone, Sweden's won. Let's get to it. Yeah. Like <laughs> you don't have to have that bit, and I was just intrigued. I thought it was a beginning. Yeah. But no. yeah, it's mad, isn't it? How like <laughs> the that's happened a few times where yeah. like I've been a few or like someone's the been live was been fully ahead. like five minutes ahead. Crazy. Of the BBC um, broadcast. We have a live blog. Yeah. Going. So, you know what they were watching it on? BBC broadcast, like on BBC iPlayer, it was. No, no, I mean, sorry, fun. where I was in Camp and Furnace, maybe oh. they were on Sky. Don't know, but it was so weird. I was like watching the TV, watching your live, and I'm like, these images don't align up. Yeah. Catherine Tate is talking. 
there's not Catherine Tate there. Yeah. Sweden looks ecstatic. Nothing's happening there. Yeah. Finland looks upset. I put my earphone in. Sweden's won. Mm. And I was like, oh. <laughs> you know, like I it wasn't am. Finland or, or Alessandra. But yeah, I was like, oh my God. Okay, Elliot, um, Sweden's won. <laughs> like, and he's like, what are you on about? The TV's not, like, we're a few minutes away. And I was like, have a look. So that everyone in the office was watching it then. Yeah. As they should. Yeah. Everyone should always watch it. should have been life. watching it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that just about wraps up everything to do with Eurovision. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we But we've covered cover. Eurovision <laughs> as well as everything under the sun. Yeah. We, we have covered the entire spectrum of human emotion in this yeah. last episode. Yeah, we have. You know? We have. And I'm just double checking if there was anything else. No. That was everything that well, I, we well, wanted to cover. And you got that so, and yeah. more. Yeah, much well. more. Well, thank you so much for listen- listening. I've, I've spoke so that. I spoke that much. I now can no longer talk. <laughs> but we love that because that's what this is all about. It's a it conversation. Is, speaking so much shit. Yeah. That by the end, you can't even speak anymore. And we're filming another episode after this. We are. <laughs> love, it. love it. Take a five minute break. Yes, maybe a bit longer. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for listening. We hope that you really enjoyed this episode. Mm-hmm. If you have, Make sure to subscribe and rate us on all the different podcasts and apps. Whichever one is your favourite, go ahead and do it there. Check us out on YouTube for the video vers- version of this glorious episode. Yeah. You can see us in HD <laughs> doing all our little dance moves throughout and all that. Don't want to miss that. Or maybe you do. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah. Stay cosy. <laughs>